Hey friends, welcome to the 16th painting in my 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. Today I'm painting another wildebeest and I am super excited about it. These guys are so interesting and so weirdly shaped <laughs> and I love them. So what I wanted to talk about today is basically why I find working small is helpful. And what I mean by this is physically small. So for instance, all of these paintings in this 30 paintings in 30 days challenge that I'm on are four inches tall by six inches wide. That's pretty small. I'm used to working a lot bigger scale. So I just kind of wanted to talk about why I find working small is indeed helpful. So one of the, one of the obvious benefits is that working small Typically, a painting will take you less time from start to finish. So by working small, you can go through that entire painting process faster. So essentially, you can get more paintings done. And the thing I kind of want to point out here is that art is a journey. Every painting that you create, there's different phases, different steps. For instance, here I always start with my sketch. I apply usually a colored ground like you see here. It's that kind of brown wash in the background. Then I jump in with my underpainting, usually starting by mapping out the darks and then moving up through my tones, different things like that. Details, glaze, fine details, all those steps. Those are all different phases of the painting and some of them you're going to enjoy more than others. And for those parts of the painting that you don't enjoy as much, you might rush yourself through it. You might, you know, try to avoid it. And as a byproduct, your skill level about, you know, your skill level for doing that level or that specific part of the painting isn't going to be quite as high as the parts that you do like. So say you really, really love detail, but you don't like building up your foundation. So let's say you rush really quickly through your foundation and then jump right to the details. That might not create such a strong painting because you need to spend time on that foundation. So by working small and getting more paintings done, you can actually force yourself to go through those different parts of the painting process and improve on them. Another thing is that I really like using small pieces of art to learn and explore. Ultimately, because there's a whole lot less skin in the game, because you haven't sunk as many hours into it. So you feel less scared of like ruining it. For instance, if you have a really big painting that you're working on and you want to maybe try a new style, you wanna try a different colored glaze on top or try some sort of like abstract appeal to it, whatever you want. But if you've already sunk many hours into that painting, taking that leap is gonna be hard because you're gonna be scared of ruining all of your hard work. But if you take small pieces like this that you are not putting a ton of time into, it's a whole lot less scary to try something new for fear of ruining it because you really don't have much invested into it. That's at least the way that I feel about these smaller paintings. I feel a lot more liberated to play and have fun and try different things. And I personally think that is super beautiful. Working small and fast is honestly how I've actually developed some of my favorite painting styles and how some of my most successful art series were started. So that's another really beautiful thing. I personally make sure that when I am working small, I'm actually grabbing the largest brushes that I can for that size of painting. So, and I, I say this because I've experienced it myself. Sometimes when you do work small, you're tempted to grab those teeny tiny little brushes. And what ends up happening is that you get really sucked into those details because your mind says, okay, small painting, small brushes. And those small paintings end up taking a lot more time than you think. You're consumed with detail without really building a solid foundation. So my favorite way to kind of combat this is to still make sure you're using the largest brushes you can. So that brings us to the end of this painting. I really hope that you enjoyed listening and watching and maybe you'll consider doing some small paintings in order to learn and grow and explore.
right. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will see you in the next video.